Saiyajit and welcome back to my channel Saiyajit and in today's video I will try to do the FIFA gameplay comparison between the IQ R3 vs the IQ R7 device. So let's see friends uh, which phone has got the 4D vibrations and voice changes and game display enhancement all these kind of features I am trying to compare IQ UI vs Fun Touch UI playing the FIFA game. So this is going to be a really epic comparison friends between both of the smartphones and both phones they do have the 8GB RAM variant and Snapdragon 860 processor and Snapdragon 870 processor here and in case if you love this kind of wallpapers don't worry I got you covered. So make sure to check the playlist which are created only for the wallpapers uh, lovers. So I, as you can see friends this is a perfect wallpaper playlist. So which I started to do from the day one as you can see every day I'll try to upload one live wallpaper. So try to follow this one playlist friends which will be really helpful. So all my wallpapers I'll try to make a video and I'll try to upload in single playlist. So first let me try to open the FIFA game in both phones at same time. At same time I'm trying to open. Let me try to scroll down to FIFA game. Let's see friends which phone can actually open the FIFA game faster. That is what I'm going to check right now. One, two, three. Get set, go. So I'll yesterday night uh, I did a speed test comparison between both phones. As you can see friends this is a speed test comparison IQ3 versus IQ7. So make sure to check that video in case if you want to know how is the performance of this small brother versus this big brother which is IQ7. Definitely it's really great in terms of the performance wise. So don't underestimate the IQ3. Yes friends do not underestimate estimate it's really powerful yep snapdragon 865 in this phone it's really powerful i need to do uh, in-depth testing on this processor as well friends so make sure to stay tuned i'll try to do in-depth intense kind of testing the way i treated the iq7 same way i'll be treating this iq3 as well so first let's explore what are the graphics you do have basic settings i'm trying to go here let's go to the settings and the display and i'm trying to select everything to a high as you can see high fps as you can see friends everything i'm trying to set to the high and i did select the filter to the ocean as well as you can see clearly so these are the settings which i'm trying to use right now in this uh, iq3 uh, smartphone as you can see friends exactly everything is done let me need to go back and same thing apply to the iq7 as well so is iq7 and everything is high and ocean as well as you can see now it's done so now let's start the gameplay in both phones let's see friends first let's explore Fun Touch UI, what Fun Touch UI is offering in the FIFA game in the IQ7 device. That is what I am going to explore. So, in the sideways, you do get the eSports mode, voice changer option, game display enhancement features, and game frame interpolation. As you can see, these are the options which are present in this phone, which is fantastic, friends, which is not bad at all. Slight link is a brightness, yes, which is really good. But there is no 4D vibrations. So, you don't get the haptic feedback while playing the FIFA game. That's really kind of disappointing. But let's explore what is this small brother has got which is iq uh, ui let's see what will be the iq ui has got so here you do have the same kind of esports mode and let me try to turn on the esports mode and voice changer option and you do have the eagle eye mode as well so eagle eye mode and pressure sense to buttons which is this one that's really impressive friends so pressure sense to buttons you are getting here in this phone absolutely which the gameplay will be completely changed for some users so with this press sense to buttons, you do get the haptic feedbacks. Whenever you try to press this button, you can feel the haptic feedbacks in this IQ R3 smartphone. Yes, absolutely correct. But in the IQ7 device, you won't feel any kind of uh, haptic feedback vibration when you're trying to play the game. That's the one thing which I did observe in both phones, the difference between both. So in case if you want to experience a really good 4D vibrations, then better uh, try to choose the phone, which has got the press sense to button. So there should be some kind of press sense to button even for the IQ7 device friends. This is a perfect phone for the gamers. I do believe the IQ7 is perfect phone for the gamers. Absolutely. If they include the buttons on this top, that would be like ultimate package. Maybe that might be coming in the IQ8. I think so with the Snapdragon Triplet Plus processor, IQ8. So let's see what's going to happen with the IQ8 phone. So first I'll try to play the game one by one in, not, uh, in both phones. I cannot play absolutely at the same time. But I'll try to play the game in now uh, one by one's phone. Clip it to take, take some guns. As you can see, I did activate the presence sense to triggers as well right now. It got activated in my phone in the The active feedback when you're trying to use the press and store buttons is not uh, that great. So I did expect slightly more uh, haptic feedback while using. So in the IQ7 device, let's see what is IQ7 is offering. Let me take some gun and let me need to shoot it, whether I will be able to feel any kind of vibrations or not, at least. I did increase the sound. 
but no vibrations so no vibrations i'm getting at this point i'm not getting any kind of vibrations at all in this phone in the iq7 device so i really expect the slightly the better kind of vibrations let me try to uh, but you do get the one option which is a game frame interpolation so if you enable that option you'll get really amazing uh, smooth frame rates that is what i mean if you enable the game frame interpolation And overall it was uh, really good playing in this phone but if we do have the 4D vibrations that would be really great that is what a lot of users they did ask as well Let's see whether I can get him with a car vehicle or not Yes. So let's move to this small brother which is Iko R3. Oh, where did I drop? So I'm doing my best friends to uh, make you understand the gameplay effect in both phones but overall I, I do feel the Ico R3 has got slightly advantage in terms of having the better kind of uh, aptic feedbacks I mean in terms of the pressure sensitive buttons so when the IQ7 has got the really good uh, vibrations but we cannot utilize in the FIFA again that's totally disappointing for a lot of gamers particularly so maybe the next update we want this kind of 4D vibrations even implemented in the FIFA game in this IQ R7 device maybe with the next UI next UI update so that is what I was expecting friends let's see so whether we might be able to get this kind of 4D vibrations or not I'll try to use now this phone As you can see friends, right now sensitivity. As you can see friends the sensitivity is really great in terms of the using the these buttons so no issues as you can see here the latency as well not bad at all so friends it's really great using this Ico R3 device particularly this is my first phone which has got this kind of uh, this kind of presence into buttons so I thought of buying the Poco F3 GT as well but I, I was unable to buy from here so I need to wait for some time until it get released. I got stuck here. So this is a quick review friends using the FIFA game in both phones. Overall I did feel the FIFA game is uh, quite good while using this kind of Sense to buttons, so sense to uh, triggers in this phone in the IQ7 device, IQ3 device, sorry. And we do have plenty of other options as well. In case if you want, you can enable this kind of monster mode as well. So there's another uh, monster mode which is available if you want to, you can enable that. So that will give you a slightly benefit as well, slightly in terms of the increase in the performance, little bit, but not much. So in case if you like these wallpapers, don't forget to check the links in the description. Friends, this is a quick comparison between the both phones in terms of graphics and everything. And thank you for watching this video, friends. And the see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned for more updates. Bye.